Welcome in. Uh, it's Tom here. We are doing today. Uh, I just actually did a five things, five things video, five brands that you should know, five brands that you should be on the lookout for. But I also wanted to do a shipping video, so I want to see what you guys kind of like more. If you like the shipping style videos where you ship with me, or if you prefer the the tips and tricks videos, maybe you want to see the videos where I go out in the thrift shop and I'm actually looking for. A lot of times it's pretty boring, there isn't a lot that I find, but sometimes I do find really great things. So anyway, let me know which ones you guys would prefer, and yeah, anyway, we're going to get into the shipping video. I have seven items that I have sold um, in the last two days, two days, one day, last day, I don't know. I've done really well for my average, um, yeah, in the last couple days, and I wanted to show you what I got. So. Here we go. So first up we have this really cool RLX golf polo. Um, it's from the Ryder Cup. It's a men's large uh, from 2018. I put uh, a screenshot of what it looked like on the screen uh, in my eBay list. But it looked really cool. Um, the buyer paid, let's see, the buyer paid, the buyer paid $30 for it and I charged Five eighty-five to ship. So the buyer paid thirty dollars for it. I charged five eighty-five to ship it, and I I think I bought this one for it was like six bucks. It's eight ounces, so eight ounces. It's going to ship for three dollars and eighty-seven cents, and that will go first class. Just like everybody else, I like to use the little poly mailers. They work great, and yeah, do a good job at what my goal is. Eight ounces, and I need a sharpie. I like to write down on each package what it is right on top just like that so I know that this is the RLX Golf Polo. Next up we actually have a Joe DiMaggio jersey that the buyer hadn't paid for in a few days but I had already packed it up. Um, so anyway it's a Joe DiMaggio vintage majestic jersey. Um, I'll put a screenshot on the screen so you guys can see what it sold for. Uh, I, th I think I got 90 for it. 95 actually, I got 95 for it, and it weighs 10 ounces, so it'll ship first class, which is great. Great news for me. Um, the buyer paid 485, so I, yeah, like I said, I charge a flat shipping rate. The buyer paid 485, I can ship it for 450, so my estimate was pretty close to correct. So 10 ounces, and Joe DiMaggio. Perfect. Set it off to the side. Next up, we have a Pendleton hiking shirt. Um, this was one of the bigger fails I've had in the last, yeah, couple months. It is cotton. I shouldn't have bought it. I paid six for it, and I sold it for ten. So great profit. Um, no, I got nothing for it basically. But that's okay. Sometimes that's how it goes. Um, it's ten ounces, so it'll ship first class. I charged five forty-five for shipping, and it will ship for four fifty. Next up, we have this Donegal Colesta shirt. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a sweater. It's actually, it looks pretty vintage. But this ended up selling this morning, right when I woke up, for 50 bucks. So it is eight ounces. It will ship first class. And actually, this one is going, this one is going to Japan, I believe. So super cool. I love when I ship stuff overseas. It's just kind of like exciting. I've always thought about getting like this big map and then putting a pin to every place that I ship to. Uh, I just think that'd be fun. They can kind of see where you ship stuff to. They sold it for $50, charged $4.85 to ship it. I can ship it for $3.81, so perfect. Just like that. Next up, we have a super cool Turnbull and Asser. Um, yeah, the, it's just a shirt that's made in England. Very expensive. Uh, I, yeah, I think they're like $400 brand new. I got 60 for it. I bought a pile of these um, at a thrift store. They wanted 12 for them originally, and this thrift store does this thing where like it slowly rotates through which prices are marked down, and I knew that this one would get marked down, and so I actually ended up getting all of them for like two dollars a piece so they've been crazy I've made a hundred dollars on some of them but it's been a great buy one of the best buys I've ever had uh, best buy 
Not sponsored, by the way. But anyway, this weighs nine ounces. Uh, it'll ship first class. That's why I love selling clothes is because a vast majority of it will ship first class unless you have like a big jacket or something. And people always need clothes. It's just one of those things that people people buy. Um, they spend a lot of money on, and it works great. So slip it into the first class priority mailer. And this one is headed to North Carolina. So this one will ship for four dollars and fifty cents. Turn blaster. Next up, we have a Nike Pro Combat fitted shirt. Um, I actually wore this thing for years, and I just have too many things now because I find stuff at thrift stores and buy them and keep them. But uh, yeah, I decided that I'd sell it. I got 14 for it, and buyer paid 4.45 to ship. It is four ounces, so it will ship for. It will ship for my computer is super slow because we don't have Wi-Fi at my house, so it'll ship for 342. But uh, yeah, so we we are running our eBay store off a hotspot because we don't have Wi-Fi and we just didn't want to pay for it. But it's really hard because hotspot's not that great because we have a tin roof on the our apartment, um, and so. We don't really get the best of service, but that's okay. It it goes. You just need a little bit of patience sometimes. Nike. Oh. And last but not least is I sold these Taft boots. Um, I got seventy five for them. I was asking one thirty. Took a best offer. I spent twelve on them. They are made in Spain, hand handcrafted in Spain. Size forty one. Uh, yeah, very nice boots. Kind of cool looking. Um, I'm going to have to stick these in a box um, and I don't have any boxes so I have to go look for something. Wait a second. Wait a second. Will they fit in my Geishman slipper box? Let's see. I've been keeping it because I knew I would need it at some point. I don't think they're going to fit. I don't think they're going to fit. They are definitely not going to fit. Oh, wait. Yeah, they do. They fit. They actually fit. They fit like perfectly, actually. What? Oh. Boom. Just like that. We're shipping them in the Geishman box. And they weigh three pounds exactly. That is going to cost $9.93 to ship, and the buyer paid $12.45. So, all I'm going to do tape this box up a little bit and send it off. Happy we didn't have to go to the garage to find a box for this because that would not be awesome. It's cold in Minnesota. It is like, there's snow on the ground still, by the way. That's, I mean, all you need to know to know how cold it is here. So it's been pretty chilly, but yeah. Three pounds, so that brings a total price of $34.53 to ship all of this. And here it comes. So these will all print off, just like that. A Dymo label printer, I would strongly suggest getting on. They're like $70, but they make the average cost per label like two cents, and that's just way better than doing it with a printer and ink. Um, yeah, and it just uses thermal printing, and it's super, super nice, super professional looking. I would highly recommend it.
All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for the ship with me style video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this this uh, this style. Um, getting to ship out seven things, kind of seeing a little bit more of what I sell. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying making these videos, and it's fun. I, I hope it comes across as fun. Uh, I really, really enjoy doing eBay and thrift shopping. So yeah. Anyway, those are those are how, that's how I do it. That's these are the tools that I use. Yeah, check out my store down in the link, in the link, the link in the description below. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Have a good day. See ya.